Hey everyone, welcome back to Beekeeping with Natalie, or welcome to if you are new. Today we're doing a video on bucket feeding. I've done some videos, like in my videos, I've talked about the different ways that we feed here in our bee yards, but I haven't really done a dedicated video to certain feeding products and things that we do. I've talked a little bit about bucket feeding, frame feeding, those are our two main things that we do this time of the year. When we're doing splits, we like to do Ziploc feeding, which I have had a video on before. If I can find a video, I'll leave it in the corner so you guys can check it out. Talks a little bit more on that. And today we're gonna kind of talk a little bit about bucket feeding because it's gotten a little bit more popular throughout the last few years. And um, because of that, we've decided to try it out ourselves. And so we really started doing it this year. We really started trying it out. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about how they work and some of the things that we've noticed and I want to talk to you guys about just in case um, this is happening to you. I want to make sure that you figure this out. So here's the buckets. They're not super clean just because we've had them on for a little while now. But if your bees don't really propolize your stuff too much this time of the year or just in general, you might not have a problem with this. I know some bee beekeepers have already talked about it. But one of the problems that we have is then propolizing the small little holes that the syrup comes out of. So how the bucket works is you originally, um, when you're first feeding, you can pull the whole lid off and then fill it up. And then you put the lid on and then you put this plug in too. And then you'll put the holes in so that they can get to the syrup. But once you have this lid on, we never take the lid off. The only thing that we take out is this plug right here. So you can take this out and then your syrup's on the inside here. Again, it's not super clean, but the bees don't care. And so you take the plug out and that's how we fill it. So we never take off the main lid. And um, another thing that we like to do is dump out the old syrup, just in case. Um, it's kind of hard to get all of it out, but I try my best to get as much as I can. And then when we're feeding again, if we haven't been able to get back to it and it's been like a few days or something, a lot of the times they will propolize these small holes. So I'll see if I can kind of show you. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. We have six holes around the edge here. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. Yeah, so you can see those. And I'm not sure if you can tell, but like this middle one right here is propolized. So basically what that means is the syrup can't get out of that spot right there, out of that hole. For some reason, I have not been able to find a bucket in this yard that has been fully propolized. But the last few times that we have been feeding, all of them have been propolized. So I don't know what's going on. Of course, the time that I want to film a video, it's there's like one that's propolized. But a lot of times we have all of these holes completely sealed up and you can't uh, get any syrup out of it. And sometimes we don't notice it. And so we'll fill the bucket up put this on and then we'll flip it over and come back and the syrup is still in there and they haven't been able to get to the feed. And so it's normally a good idea to go back around and make sure that all of these holes are unplugged. So what we take, a good thing to do is like a staple. A staple works good too. This is just like a really small nail. And so I'm going to just poke the hole. There's actually two, so I'll poke this one here. You don't wanna poke it too much to where it makes the hole any bigger but you just wanna get that propolis out of there, just like that. And then there's another one here at the bottom. So I'll do the same thing. Just kinda scrape it out. So there you go, that's it. It's super easy. It's just another thing added to bucket feeding that it's not something that we want to do, but we have to do because we, the ones that we're feeding obviously need it. And so we wanna make sure that they're able to get to that syrup and then, um, I just figured I'll go ahead and fill up this bucket. We're not feeding a whole lot anymore just because it's starting to get really cold out. But most of our hives are looking really good for winter, which is exciting and can't wait to see how they do coming out of winter. Winter is always a risky time just because they could look really good and then we have a really harsh winter and they don't do so good. I'm not sure what that was. I think it might have been a dragonfly. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so this is ready to go back on the hive. One of the things about feeding that I'm not a huge fan of is it's very sticky. I just did one hive and hands are already sticky. So we just put this on. 
And those are done. So this, one of the nicest things about bucket feeding is you really don't even have to open up the hive. You're just taking the bucket off, filling it, and putting it back on. A lot of the times though, we'll have bees on the bucket, on the inside of it, getting to that syrup, but it's really not that big of a deal and they're really easy to do. Frame feeding's a little bit different because you have to pull that lid off, but a lot of the times, if we know what side the feeder is on, we can just slide the lid over and it's really not opening the hive too much. So we like those for that reason. One of the things though that is hard for us is when the bees are really full and there's not a frame that we want to take out to put a feeder in because it takes up some space when you're doing a frame feeder. And not all the time you're going to have to feed that hive if they are super full. But anyway, so that's kind of one of the things about frame feeding is it does take up some space for the bees. But they are very nice and we do like them. That's what we've used the last few years and we really started doing bucket feeding a lot more this year. So yeah, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit on buckets today. Hopefully this helps out anybody that's have, having problems with the bees not getting to the syrup. So if the bucket is still full, make sure that those holes are um, not sealed up. And if they're really not feeding on it a whole lot, maybe they don't need it. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them. So thanks for watching. Follow along more bee adventures and be here next time on Beekeeping with Natalie.